Aha, there you are. Sorry about the little break in transmission there. These things happen. So a little break in transmission. Not to worry about that. Scotty McClure, back with you, saying dinky-doo. Just sorting out one or two things and what have you. My goodness me, what about that for professionalism? Oh, you've got to keep your cool when things go down like that. So there we are. We'll build up again. Ben Atkins is watching. David Russell's watching. Mick McFarlane's watching. Craig Duncan's watching. Richard Mackay. Andy McCrory. Councillor Henry Anderson. You're all there, folks. That is fantastic. And hello again, Scotty. Sorted, says Tommy. Steve McKenzie's watching. Gary Cross is watching. Gary Cross, and here we go. Guys, fantastic. If that ever happens, remember, I will be making every effort to come back to you as quickly as possible. In the days of early days of television, we would put up a caption that says, we are sorry for the break in transmission. Normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. Craig Brown back again. Angie Thompson's there. This is wonderful. Peter Ewing. You. Best show in the West, says Ron Stewart. Mick McFarlane shared this one. George Raffin, Laurie LD, Dev still there. Gaz Rolly Jones, tremendous. You're all there, folks. Now, if we can share and share and share and share and share and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live, you will find tonight is now split into two videos, part one and part two. So there you go. Quite often we get this, we just get so busy. Um, sir, I said, I told you, I told you, here's somebody Skyping us, let's see who is Skyping, tremendous, Richard Mackay, we'll just get to Richard, there we go, Fanta hello Richard, how are you doing Scotty, how do you think you do, can you hear me, I can hear you very well, it's me and my two French friends, Orion and Jean, I'm listening to you today, two French friends, should I get me, should I parle pas français très vite, si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends, oui, Oh, do you understand that? <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful, right? There you go. And uh, tremendous stuff. We've just had a wee uh, break in transmission there. I don't know if you saw that with a little break in transmission. Oh, yes, that's right. What happened? What it, happened just, it just died out. It just absolutely died out. Sometimes it does. I think if everybody comes on, if everybody piles in, it buffers up a bit and then just goes. Well, that's it. It's going to be far too much audience there. The internet can't handle it. It's tremendous. It's absolutely amazing. Do you know that we had 10,000 people joined us last week? And that's with incredible. And 100,000 people over the course of the whole thing. So it's tremendous. Well, that's, that's very, very promising, Scotty. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad, is it? Successful. It's not bad. It's wonderful, Richard. How's things with you? Are you in France? I'm actually in London right now. My French friends are over at university, but we always tune in there. And uh, Sunday night to listen to you, you know. Oh, bong, think you do, I say to them. Bon bon, excellent. Uh, oui. Bon bon, bon oui. bon. Thank bon. you very much, Scotty, for having uh, us today. Au revoir. Au revoir, think you do. Au revoir, la la. <laughs> There we go. That's Richard. He's in London and uh, he's got two French friends who didn't seem to understand French, but I wasn't speaking it right. And the headphones in there. And um, said Angie Thompson that near deafened me. Oh, Angie, sorry about that. So there you go. We need to get our levels right. That's another thing. If everybody could stick a few quid in, go fun. Gazroly Jones, could you take that down, please? That's, or I'll have to ban you. We don't have any bad language on this program. It's unacceptable because we're guests in people's houses. Wadge is watching. Wadge, hush my, is watching. The French freaked me out there, says Gaz Holy Jones. Absolutely. Well, they didn't understand my French, Gaz. But uh, your French wasn't too polite there. We don't go in for it. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, says Gregor G, who's watching in California. Fantastic, Gregor G. Dinky do to you. We had to come back there, Gregor, with a break in transmission. And I'm just saying to you guys, you're such a loyal audience. Thank you for bearing with me, because obviously it's pandemonium this end when that happens because we have to reprogram everything but uh, we did it tonight and we're back up and that is fantastic thomas dreghorn's watching and um marvelous marvelous dinky do scotty gregor says thank you gregor dinky do to you oh my goodness i can't believe the time 2251 and we've barely started can everybody share 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 part two of this video <clears throat> now 
Uh, who else have we got here? Say hello to Sandra, uh, an M&S worker from Argyle. Sandra, which part of Argyle are you from? Dink you do. Marvellous. I know Argyle very well. I know Oban, the Balachanry, and uh, I know Loch Kilpit, and I know Ardrishig, and Tarbert, and Campbell. So there you are. Heather Carr's watching. Dink you do to you, Heather. Good to have you on. Good night, says Peter Ewing. Good night, Peter. Thank you for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the program. And dinky do to you. 53, 54, says David Lafferty. My goodness, have you got birthdays today, guys? Dave Marshall is watching. One of the finest broadcasters I've ever known. So dinky do to you, Dave. Get back on the breakfast show, we say. You are a fine fella. And lots and lots of love to you guys. Uh, William Shepard, we're back again, says William. Of course you are. Scotty, I'm watching from Long Island in New York. Remember you dishing out um, hot in your hate me advice at Scott FM. <laughs> They're watching in Long Island in New York. Jana K. Jackson's back watching with us. Thanks, Jana K., for sticking with us. You're back, says Joanna K. Of course we are, Jana K. Uh, if something like that, it's always beyond my control. And it just timed out for some reason. And, uh, of course, it's pandemonium this end. We have to fix it all up. Guys, uh, can I tell you that I've set up a GoFundMe page? If you've got a spare fiver or a tenner or a 20 quid or five grand or 50 grand and you think, I'm a Scotty McClue fan, this is my silver jubilee, 25 years of Scotty McClue. One of the biggest things in broadcasting to happen since Marconi brought us radio. And uh, show please, says Watch. Hello, Scotty, from Vancouver in Canada. Richard Bunnett's watching in Vancouver in Canada. Get sharing, Richard. Get all the Canadians watching. <coughs> well, pardon me. <coughs> That's more polite. We're uh, big fans of your Mr. Trudeau. Oh. He seems like a great guy. <coughs> Darren Miller, how do you prefer to eat your eggs? Uh, the silly man, the silly man who said I work in m and or Guile, says uh, Sandra Johnston. Scotty, is it just me, but do university academics think they're always right and take it personally if you disagree with them? Tony, there's every possibility of that, every possibility of that. Um, and um, he means Argyle Street, says Sandra Johnston. Oh, Argyle Street. Yes, I wondered about the spelling, Bonnie Mary of Argyle, you know, the, the two that goes, Bonnie Mary of Argyle, and it's got a Y-L-E, but Argyle itself, there's no, there's not actually, the council won't like me saying this, but there's not actually such a place as Argyle Shire, it's Argyle, A-R-G-Y-L-L, -L. and of course the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders, a very, very fine regiment. You're needing honey instead of sugar in your tea, says Angie Thompson. Um, no, I'm just blethering a lot there. Keep up the brilliant banter, Scotty. Get something for the cough, says Margaret Bryce. Too much chat, Margaret. That's all that's wrong there. Um, and is that... Tommy, what are you on about? He's, he's mentioning is there a certain drink in my cup. It's amazing. That's what people go on about. So there you are. Gregor G says, do you like that drink? I've never, ever, ever tried it. And I'm now very, very unlikely to do so. So there you are. George Mullen is back with us. Where are your berries from, says Louise White. Louise, this is actually a kitty, a bonnet, a gentleman's bonnet. A berry would be more, if I can show you, a berry would be more something like that. We'll try and see if I can get a berry for you. A berry would be more something, something like that. That would be more of a berry, I would have said, actually. So there you are, Scotty McClure's berry. So I get them from Yorkshire. A very famous shop in Yorkshire. Are you back, says George. Well, what do you think, George? I mean, I rang the pizza shop and they said, uh, you know, pizza shop, Mark speaking. How can I help you? I said, have a guess, Mark. So there you are. It's lovely, says Tommy Hands. Keep taking a sip, Scotty. We don't want you losing that voice. Lol, says Alec McCafferty. I don't want to be losing that voice, Alec, either. Excuse me, folks. Just having a quick uh, tidy up here. Quick mop down because the heat in this studio is tremendous i'll see and get my berry my berry back on whoops we lost the falls there uh so there we are i'm just putting the berry back on yes how does that look fantastic so i think i've just designed a new hat uh the stuff isn't even made by the monks says angie what a man lol says thomas 
uh, drink on. Jeez, Scotty, put the hat back on. You'll break the internet. You should be wearing the Harris Tweed and keep the money in Scotland there. I've got a whole wardrobe full of Harris Tweed, Laurie, so do not worry about that. Uh, Benny Hill. Ha 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 ha! You should be Scotland's face for Iron Brew. You'd be a great mascot for Iron Brew, as well as other top Scottish brands. Can I tell you, there was a time that top Scottish brands were Bars Iron Brew, uh, Radio Clyde, Tunnock Scarmel Wavers, and Scotty McClue. That's Scotland's top brands. So there you are. You look like Napoleon, Scotty. So there you go. Well, what we need to put the hand in there uh, for Napoleon. Uh, uh, I am the general Napoleon. I am, I am suffering from uh, a lot of illness. All that stuff. Uh, when are you going to go on air for a longer stint, Scotty? The wee hour goes in very, very quickly, says Ian Roach. Dinky do to you, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. Scotland's whiskey is good. It's the best there is, says Ikan Singh. Absolutely, Ikan. It is indeed. Scotty, have you signed the online petition to ban Trump from visiting the UK, says Tony Kay. Catherine Hasty, hello, Scotty. No, it would be good for Trump to visit the UK and actually find out what we're like. That would be excellent. I would like to see that. Lol, says Esther Hart. Do you like my new hat, folks? Scotty, what happened to your banana and pyjamas that used to sit in the studio at Scott FM, says Gregory. Yes, yes, indeed. Banana and pyjamas. I walked in Tunnocks and we sent the bickies to Afghan to the troops. Absolutely. The um, folks in the Middle East have got a bit of a sweet tongue, I say, a bit of a sweet tooth. Angie, and of course, uh, I know Tarnox very, very well, and know all the people. Scotty, um, I'm Ofsky. Good night. Top man, says Tommy Hans. George Mullen, you look like the guy from Still Open All Hours with that hat. Gastrum. It wasn't Gastrum. What was his name? It was uh, Granville. G -g 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 Granville. And uh, good night, Scotty. Have a bra week. Shortbread, says Michael McGuigan. You need your banana mask back says Gregor G. Fantastic. I'll just turn the bonnet, turn the bonnet round. Fantastic. I cannot believe that that hour has flown so quickly. The big lovable lassie on the switchboard still with you, says Ian Roach. No, the lovable lassie on the switchboard. But we're hoping to build and build and build the programme because it is world famous already. And uh, if anybody wants to go on to um, <coughs> GoFundMe, We've got PayPal at www.scottyivanmcclue.com. If you want to go on to GoFundMe, um, just look up the website. Just put GoFundMe into Google. And when the site comes up, you will uh, be able to put in Scotty McClue or the Scotty McClue Show. And you uh, can pop a few quid in there. That would be fantastic. It went quick tonight, Captain, says George. Hello, says Mark Hockey. Hello, Mark. Dinky do to you, la. Lovely to hear from you. See you next Sunday, Scotty. Dinky do from Wee Sandy as well. Gastro, you look like Granville, says Alec McCafferty. And there we are. Tunnocks are the best in the land, says George. We're going to fix your hat. You looked a wee bit skew with there. Colin Edwards is watching. Dinky do to you, Colin. Go fund the McClure. Scotty McClure needs to be in charge of Scotland's media, says Gregor G. Absolutely. What football team, says Louise White? All of them, Louise. I like them all. I usually get along early to an old firm match, of course, because uh, there's a chance of me getting a game. So there we are. Remember climbing over the fence at an old firm match at Celtic Park? And a policeman says to me, he says to me, what do you think you're doing? I said, I'm just climbing over the fence. He went, go back in until the end of the game. And there we are, www.gofundme forward slash Scotty McClure, says Richard Bonnet, with an IE, not a Y. Night, night, love, says Thomas Drakehorn. We need the collars. Get funding the big man. Good day, says Wadge. Great show. Good night, Scotty, says Ron. Good night and stay safe, Scotty. The lovable lassie is Mrs. McClure. She makes the tea. You don't see her, but she's in charge of the tea. Hence why you've not got your gloves on the night says Angie. Also, my skin is so much better, Angie. Look, that used to have a terrific psoriasis on it, and it's just virtually clear. Fantastic. Very, very proud of that. You look like Benny Hill with that hat. Found you again, Scotty, says John Paul Preston. Welcome, John Paul. And, and uh, got 
my American friend Rachel watching this, she doesn't understand a word, says Richard Mackay, and neither do I, Richard, of course. How are you doing, Mark? Right, we're right out of time. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky doo. Thanks for watching. What a fabulous show. Get on to GoFundMe and stick a few quid in. I'll see you all next week, weather permitting, God willing, at the same time. Until then, this is Scotty McClue saying to every one of you globally, stay safe, look after yourselves, God bless, and as we say in the very best of circles, dinky doo. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A winter then. Au revoir and a cheerio. Dinky-doo. Scotty McClure has left the building.